One of the great challenges in engineering today is dealing with the complexity of the systems we design. Imagine the task of optimizing the transportation network of a city. Should we invest in a subway network, tram lines? Should we subsidize ride-sharing services? How to build roads that serve cars but are also safe for pedestrians and cyclists? These design problems involve many stakeholders, public government, civil society, business owners, service workers, paying customers, and the list goes on. Furthermore, the relevant considerations are very diverse, from technical and environmental to financial, legal, and political aspects. This means we cannot talk about the optimal solution. Such design problems are challenging because various aspects and components are interconnected and interdependent. How can we make sense of this complexity? There is a tool that can help. Applied Category Theory Category theory is a branch of mathematics perfectly suited for the problems engineers face in the 21st century. It formalizes abstract ideas about relationships between things and various ways of composing them together. The things and relationships in question might be, for example, the steps in a manufacturing supply chain, where the relationships are dependencies, or databases, where the relationships are coherent transformations of data, or the components of an autonomous vehicle in a co-design problem, where the relationships are the resources provided and required by the components. Category theory allows us to tame complexity. With it, we can model systems coherently at different levels of detail and scale, and we can decompose problems into modular pieces. For example, the AV previously analysed in terms of its components might itself be a component in the mobility network of a city. These models are not only tools for thinking effectively, they are also tools for rigorous proofs and computations, such as finding the best trade-offs for our mobility system. Applied category theory is used across a wide range of disciplines and contexts, from robotics to software, from databases to epidemiology to the co-design of urban mobility systems.